Hello everyone, another commentary video for you today was uh, squats and bench press and then some more squats. Uh, pretty rough day, just my my body's pretty tired. Um, still kind of adjusting to the uh, callus tear on the hand. Uh, had it taped up and just was having a hard time getting the bar really tight on my back with, um, with that tape in the way, but no excuses, had to go in and still did the work. And... I don't know. I, the weight looks better, I feel like, than it felt. Uh, just about everything was was pretty tough today. I've been worrying so much about making sure my hand was okay uh, coming into this session that I didn't get the same amount of focus on the recovery for my legs, my lower back, and uh, the rest of my body that I normally put in. So every set was pretty rough um, and uh, quite a struggle just to try to maintain everything. And uh, there's a couple times where I was a little frustrated with myself um, for how the weight was feeling. Uh, this is 485 for my work sets, and I uh, had five triples. Um, I feel like on a different day they would have they would have felt better, but uh, you know you, you take the days that you have and you uh, work with them and, and just use what you have. So that's how that went. Uh, topic for today is building yourself up, and um, I was talking to a friend of mine who I haven't seen in a while. His name's Justin. He's the guy who helped me with my diet over the summer and uh, got me into some of the best best lifting, I feel like, just for the diet changes. And We talked a lot about diet today, and we talked a lot about some of the things that I can do uh, in my current situation to make the most of the resources I have available to me, and so I really appreciate him for that. But uh, we also talked about um, the idea of that there are people out there who really try to increase their, their self-worth by uh, down, looking down on other people and kind of tearing people down. And uh, today the topic I really want to, I want to just discuss with everyone is, it is a more effective strategy to work harder at building yourself up than, than to tear someone else down because you're, you will never grow uh, from a negative mindset. You will never grow by looking at other people and saying, well, you know, he or she must be using something, or um, I, I'm working, you know, I'm working just as hard, I should be where they're at. Sometimes the world doesn't work <laughs> the way you want it to, to work, and the only way to catch up to someone else is to really work on building yourself up. You have to do more. You have to be more perfect than you already are. And there's no one that I've ever met that can't improve something. I've never met someone who does any of the strength sports that is so perfect that they can't do something more consistently or better. You can be perfect for a week and then and then lose it. And so there's always something you can find to improve on. Uh, myself, the diet is always a struggle. Even when my diet is, I feel like it's on point, it could still be better and my training could still be more consistent or my recovery methods, you know, I could be rolling out more, I could be icing more, I could be taking more time to do that kind of stuff. And so, just I encourage everyone to, to focus, especially this week and the next coming weeks, on building yourself up and not falling into the, the bad and counterproductive habit of trying to find the flaws in someone else uh, to, to build yourself up that way. You really just should focus on, on bringing yourself up through your own means. And uh, it's, a very, it's a personal thing. That's, why I, that's one of the reasons I love doing this, is I don't have anyone else that I really have to rely on. It's all about the work that I put in and uh, make the, you know, find the benefit from my effort alone and no one else controls it but me. So that's really what I wanted to talk about today. Um, bench was six triples at 315 and I think coming up here, yep, yeah, this is my friend Randy. Uh, he was one of my residents last year, sophomore, and this is a 545 deadlift with no belt. Um, and really no specific uh, powerlifting training at all. He had it for a double, could have maybe pulled the, the triple, but uh, just fun fact, Randy's PR two weeks ago, his best ever, that he's ever pulled was I think a 500 for a double, so that's a 45 pound PR and almost another rep. Uh, he is one of the hardest working kids that I know and uh, really, really proud to watch how far he's come since uh, he was my resident last year and uh, just the, the work that he and his uh, buddy Abe was standing there on the side. Abe put up a 405 for a triple, which was a big PR for him today too. So um, those guys are just working really hard and I'm really proud of them. Uh, you see, as I get into the later sets of the benching, um, I was like... I said at the beginning I was pretty tired coming in. My shoulders and my chest were pretty tight from all the benching I did. Uh, the hand was not as much of a problem today. 
Um, but I did start doing touch and go on the uh, first two reps after the third set and then pausing the third. And so that's how that went. I've been getting a lot of requests for a side view on my squat. And so this is a 405 uh, triple on my second round of squats. Keep in mind that I'm not wearing a belt and this is the second round, so I'm already pretty torched. Um, but this is generally the, the bar path that I try to take, really driving my head back, trying to sit back but not too much, and just kind of dunk the weight and come back up. My elbow uh, alignment was not the best on this. I'm, try I'm trying really hard to get them down a little bit more to keep my torso more upright, but um, every set there's something to improve, just like with the rest of your life. You can always do more than you're doing. So I had sets of four at 4.55 afterwards, and... Uh, I was, I was just really tired going into these. This was a struggle. The, these last four sets were pretty pretty tough um, mentally for me. I do think that uh, the later sets were a little better. I only filmed the first one. But, uh, yeah, it's just sometimes you have to put in the work, and it's going to suck. And I know that coming into a, ne tomorrow, I don't have a set plan. Um, I'm going to do some resting and then see if I want to come in a little bit later uh, Maybe one more chance at pulling because I'm going to I'm gonna not do any pulling when I start small off on Tuesday. So uh, looking forward to that program. A little nervous um, in a good way, I guess. Antsy, really excited to see what I can get out of it. Hoping to really bring up my squat with that, with that focused attention to it. Um, planning on making my diet on point the whole time that I'm running that. I'm going to try to be uh, eating enough to power through what's supposed to be one of the toughest training cycles that I hear from a lot of people. So really excited for that. Probably going to end up running the Small Ob Junior bench cycle, and then uh, at least for the first three weeks, and then trying to figure out what I'm going to do from there and how I'm feeling. But that's the plan going into next week. Thank you guys again for your continued support. Just hit 2,600 subscribers, and uh, really, really excited and just blessed and thankful. So thank you guys all so much for your continued following. Uh, if you enjoy the video, like, share it, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all either tomorrow or Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.